Greetings from the north woods of Michigan's Upper Peninsula. I'm Natasha and this is Plant-Centered Living. Today I would like to talk with you about the fact that going plant-centered, when you do that, you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. Well, I take that back. You may in fact lose weight as a byproduct of getting healthier. But I talk about this subject because I just, I'm so frustrated by all of the stories that I hear from people and through people about others when um, a healthcare professional has been working with someone for a long time. And I'm going to give you an example. It was yesterday. My mom was relaying a story to me about someone who has psoriasis and the doctor's been working with that person for quite some time, different medications, um, behavior modification, um, some lifestyle changes, um, but nothing really seemed to be working. And so this person at the recommendation of his sister went plant centered. And after two weeks, the psoriasis was simply gone, gone. And it's so hard for me to understand why the medical profession in general, and, and I do know why, it's because nutrition is not part of a physician's training. And we live in a culture where medication is kind of the front line of defense. I completely understand that. But it is really frustrating that a healthcare professional can't just simply look at one of their patients and feel comfortable saying, you know, you may want to try a plant-centered lifestyle and a plant-centered way of eating because that very well might do something to help your psoriasis. It's like, okay, if it doesn't work, then you really aren't out anything. You're not out any money. And it really wasn't that big of a deal to do that for two weeks or a month or that kind of thing. And if it doesn't work, you can always go back to the medications that you were trying or the other treatments that you were trying. But you have nothing to lose when it comes to adopting a plant-centered lifestyle, but absolutely everything to gain. And so I just see this time and time again. I was speaking with a young woman um, a couple weeks ago at a health fair, and I, um, I was speaking with her about the fact that I had personally suffered from severe acne in my early 20s. And I loved dairy. I was the kind of person that would bring a block of cheese to work with me and just shave off pieces and eat it. Um, and so, yeah, I was pretty heavily into dairy. And this young woman um, was talking to me about a plant-centered lifestyle. And um, I did notice that she did, in fact, um, also suffer from acne. And I brought up the fact that I had... in. Um, I had been able to clear up my acne completely by going plant-centered and just suggested that she try it for a couple of weeks. Um, and just the look of relief on her face that she may have another option to pursue um, was, I don't know, it was very heartening to me. So I do hope that she took my suggestion to heart and gave it a try because I do have a feeling that she probably would see some results. So again, for any of you out there that are considering making the transition to a plant-centered lifestyle, then I would highly encourage you to do it because really, you have nothing to lose except maybe some weight. Ah, what about losing some health problems as well? And what you're gaining is your health and your happiness, your vitality, your energy, uh, the ability to then turn around and tell your success story to be able to help somebody else. So I hope that this has helped you to kind of look at um, a plant-centered lifestyle as being a pretty good choice um, with uh, very little, if any, downside. Thanks for listening, everyone. I will talk to you next week. Take care.